Bonjour to le monde. We have no learning language. Good morning everyone. Welcome to learning language. So today's session is about simple negation in passive composite tense, which means past tense. Along with this, we will learn about uh, how the articles behave when the statement changes to negation. Okay. So if you would like to have an introduction about NERPA, so please go through to my previous video, which I did for simple negation in present tense. Okay, now let's begin. Now, how to use NERPA in passe composite? It is a past tense. So how do you put NERPA while using a passe composite? Now, the formula is still the same, that NER plus verb plus PA. NER comes before auxiliary verb and PA after it. Okay, and NER, we will drop E from NER when the first alphabet of the verb starts with voyal then it will be an apostrophe plus verb plus pa okay now let's have a look at the example the example is je mange which means i have eaten or i ate so to translate it to negation we need to think over i have not eaten or in english i did not eat also an option but once you will know I have eaten only then you will be able to make it to negation because thing doesn't work in the similar way as they are in English so to translate it I didn't eat or I did not eat is a bit difficult then I have eaten yeah, it is a big difficult part, but uh, for the English speakers, but uh, we have to memorize it, memorize it, or either uh, it should come into our practice so that we'll remember it, or, or by heart it. Okay. Now let's go to the negative example. Sorry, let's go to the negation of the similar example. Now, the mean. Je n'ai pas mange. I have not eaten. But also means I did not eat. Okay. But we cannot think of translating I did not eat to French. We better do it. I have not eaten. Okay. That it will be easy for you. So just forget about that I did not eat. Just think about I have not. Always. In passe composite. Now let's see what happens to the articles in a negative sentence. So first have a look at the definite articles. So in definite articles we have le, la, l apostrophe and le. And its contractions u, o, du, de. So whenever we change any affirmative statement to negation, when we have definite articles in it, there is no change on definite articles in the negative sentence. So whenever we have definite articles in the affirmative sen sentence and when we, when we are changing it to negation, it will remain same. Its contraction remains the same. There is no change on definite articles. So let's have a look at the examples and then it will be easy for you to understand it better way. Okay. Je le vatige. Now to negative that Je ne parle vatige, which means I'm, I have a vertical. I do not have a vertical. Okay. Scare of heights. There is no change. It with le is seen in both affirmative and negative. Now let's go to the indefinite articles. Indefinite articles we have uh, they and partitive articles we have do, the la, the l apostrophe and they. So both of them becomes they or D apostrophe whenever we are changing the statement from affirmative to negation D apostrophe used in the cases okay D E S let's have a look at the example now je fais du jogging I do some jogging okay je n'ai pas de jogging je n'ai pas, pas de jogging which means I don't do any jogging Okay, 
now in the previous uh, example do changes to the do i do some jogging do here stands for some okay in place of sorry some now they here is any means i do some jogging or no i don't do jogging understand because it's a negation one so it makes sense now let's have a look at the, another example jean grand ong grand ong i have a wide angle okay je n'ai pas de grand angle je n'ai pas de grand angle i don't have any wide angle okay a uh, here means i have a wide angle a uh, a uh, a wide angle okay but negation means i don't have any wide angle i don't have wide angle okay now let's move to another thing this formula i mean this rule of changing the statement of changing the indefinite articles and partitive articles does not happen in the case of a through verb this is an exception whenever there is an a through verb there is no change no change for a through verb it will remain same let's have a look at the let's have a look at the example je suis jeune fille je ne suis pas jeune fille so you can see we have a a through verb here sui you indefinite articles when we are changing it to negation it is still you je ne suis pas jeune fille okay so there is no change of indefinite articles and partitive article in case of either verb rest of the cases it works that's it guys if you like the content of the video please hit like share and subscribe keep watching learning language stay tuned